Hey, so I recently bought the new Star Adventurer GTI from Skywatcher and I thought I'd do a quick video. Um, I've used it a couple of times, once in Milky Way, once in Deep Sky and thought I'd do a quick review and uh, share my thoughts with you in case you, you're considering buying one. Um, although there's a little bit of a backlog as I understand now, uh, so you may have to be a little bit patient. Um, but yeah, uh, if we haven't met, I'm Clem uh, and you're watching Astrofishing. So the Star Adventure GTI uh, has just been released and um, it's been put on sale um, in the UK and I, I was very lucky to be uh, on first batch uh, of, uh, of the sales so I managed to get one um, and like I said I think there's a little bit of a backlog now but um, hopefully you do get your hand on one of those soon because I think it's going to be a really really popular mount uh, and the reason for this is it's almost the same as the original Star Adventurer um, as in weight wise it's slightly heavier um, than, than the original one uh, predominantly down to the heavier counterweight um, that is uh, included with it and the counterweight bar which is the same as the EQ6R Pro um, but it's um, still just as compact um, as, as the other one and the reason why it's I think going to be popular it now has go-to uh, functionality um, so it means you can put in your target into either the SynScan app or if you uh, use an ASI Air and it will slew it to the target and you don't have to worry about anything you don't have to spend hours on your knees trying to find a target so yeah that's going to be really good um, and with that obviously it now also has declination guiding which will especially deep sky images will just make them even more crisp and uh, clear so yeah that's that's that was the two main selling points for me because I wanted a very lightweight um, mount for um, my Samyang 135mm um, that I can just put out quickly if I know there's especially in the winter a quick gap of clouds and just put this up get a couple of hours imaging in and just don't have to mess around with the big mount and um, so yeah that, that was the reason why I bought it um, I used it a couple of times like I said once a Milky Way um, with the DSLR and the uh, 50 millimeter lens uh, attached and I'll share the image at the end of the video um, one thing that you would need to get which the original one had uh, if you're looking to put a ball head onto um, the mount is to get yourself a ball head adapter Vixen style adapter um, that came with the original one but um, yeah I had to get this one on eBay for 15 quid so um, yeah it's 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 fine um, let's just put that on uh, for deep sky I just have my Samyang on a Vixen Daftel slide that in uh, and off we go so it's 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 great for that um, there's a couple of things that do slightly bother me uh, with it um, although they've increased the battery um, capacity so it now takes eight AA batteries um, and they are in here you have to unscrew this bit here and this is the issue that I have is there's this tiny little screw that holds the battery lid on and it needs to be firmly pressed down to make sure that the battery compartments are pressing against the connectors um, and if you happen to drop this in the middle of the night in a field somewhere and you can't find this screw that's it you can't connect it unless you've got tape to tape it down um, that is one thing they could have improved maybe put a wash on the other side to, to hold it at least against the lid um, but anyway just be man mindful of of that the other thing polar scope cover goes on there if you touch it, it, it sometimes doesn't even stick in. If you touch it slightly, it will fall off. I actually had to look for this a couple of hours before I made this video because uh, it just fell off. Um, but yeah, this, that's a couple of things that um, do bother me slightly. But 
it's not the end of the world. Um, things that are also improved, uh, it now has an included polar illuminator, um, so that's built within the mount. Uh, all you have to do is move the declination axis horizontally and it will uh, open this gap up so you can see the uh, poloscope properly. Um, if you don't do it and you're wondering where all the stars is, it's because it's pointing straight up and the actual poloscope is covered up. So yeah, do move it to the side. Um, like I said, I've used it a couple of times and I did question at the beginning because it seemed quite stiff and I think that's probably because it's just been coming out of the uh, factory um, of how the gu and guiding will work and it actually guided below 0.5 um, so I was, I was really quite happy and that's fine, fine enough guiding for very wide field. Um, it does make quite a noise when it slews to the target um, so you shouldn't still be disturbing your neighbors with it but it is quite noisy uh, when when it moves to the target once it's actually tracking you cannot hear it um, so don't worry about that it's just the slewing part is is a little bit noisy so maybe if it does a meridian flip at three in the morning um, you'll hear it um, but yeah that's that's it so far so um, also quite nice is now has this on and off switch, uh, whereas previously it had this little dial um, that you could easily switch on when it was in the bag um, and then get to your location where you're going to be imaging and your batteries are flat, that's not what you want, you can just easily switch it off, so that's really good. Um, also depending on where you live, it has two connection points for the weight bar, one for normal. Uh, for here in the UK for example, but if you're closer to the equator you can also take this cap off here and move it here onto, onto this top uh, top bit here um, so you're always going to be able to pull that line the scope. Um, overall, like I said, I don't think there's anything wrong with this mount. Um, I'm really happy with it. Um, if you have any questions um, about the mount uh, that I may be able to answer and I didn't cover in this video, please do feel free to put a comment down below. Um, and if you like this sort of content, please do also consider giving this a thumbs up. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.